What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're gonna to be going over four things to avoid if you've had a rib fracture. Let's get right into it. Number one is avoiding taping in that region that was fractured. Why is this? Although it may feel better symptomatically and provide some pain relief, you're limiting the ability of the lungs and subsequently the chest wall to fully expand with the tape. And as a result, you're increasing the likelihood of having a possible adverse event associated with not being able to take a full inspiration. Number two, avoiding sit-ups. Why do I say specifically sit-ups? When we get out of bed, typically most people when they're getting out of bed, you get into a sit-up position and then you swing your legs over. But generally that's a position to avoid just because it increases the amount of intra-abdominal and intra-thoracic pressure when you get into those positions and it increases the pain around those rib fracture areas. I have a video that goes over how to get in and out of bed using a different technique that you can check out uh, on my page. Number three, lifting weights. Although if you're somebody who's active and wants to get back to the gym, you may be inclined to do so, it's probably best to avoid that for the first little bit just because again, you're increasing the abdominal pressure and the intrathoracic pressure when you are lifting weights, especially as they get heavier. So that could increase the pain and, and may slow and affect the healing. This is something to chat with your family physician or your physiotherapist about just with regards to when is it appropriate as it depends based on the individual, but generally you wanna stay away from that for the first couple of weeks. Number four, and probably the most important one, is bed rest. So trying to avoid just lying down in bed and waiting for the fracture to heal is super important because the premise is if you're not moving and you're just lying down, you're not using your lungs and your, and your airways as much as you would if you were moving around. So you want to keep moving and staying active to not only just help with the healing and help to make sure that you're you're improving your breathing and working on your breathing and getting more oxygen in and carbon dioxide out, but you're just doing it to improve your overall well-being, mental, physical health by staying active and trying to find a strategy that works best for you. So starting low and then building up your activity tolerance based on how you're feeling. So those are the four things to avoid after a rib fracture. So we talked about bed rest, lifting weights, doing sit-ups, aka getting in, getting out of bed, and also uh, taping that region. Let me know what you thought. Have you had a rib fracture? Let me know below and check out some of my other videos where I go over some factors and aspects associated with rib fractures to get more information. If you find value, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel grow and hitting the like button. And until then, we'll see you in the next video.